Welcome back to the Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's Power Plays Games here, lads. And today this is going to be a commentary video for today's video, and it will contain spoilers. So if I do, ado, here we go. So we're just going through a little mineshaft, aka Minecraft crossover on minecarts. And deadass, this is how Minecraft should be, honest. Here we go! Yo! Fast as fuck, boy! Get out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, have a low coming through. Out of the way, out of the way. So our goal on this mission today, guys, is to survive and not die, hopefully. The, reco me record the recording of this video took me over level up, like three tries to get through here, successfully without dying, so yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that hard, it's just a pain in the ass because enemies are so goddamn annoying here and persistent. They do so much damage to your minecart if you're not paying 100% attention to them, so... Um, let's say everybody have a good fun ride. This reminds you of a Six Flags roller coaster. One of the ones that people get trapped or killed on every year. Unsafe ocean standards. Really need to get involved with this shit. Very, very unsafe standards. That's for Damasha. Explosives! How do you like those biscuits, huh? Damn, bro. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. In this case, our favorite minecart. And. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and all you see right here is just, hello there, bang, hello there. What's up those wrist rockets, men? Push the flank. Oh shit, it's gonna flip over. Man the cot, man the cot, lads. Protect the cot, lads. Protect the payload, Snizel. Keep it faster, faster, faster. Fast as fuck, boy. More explosions! Slaughterhouse! Oh, another that cool looking tunnel. With a waterfall and everything cool. It's nothing cool looking little mineshaft cave. Oh my god, it's the face! Watch out, there's a chainsaw! Watch out, chainsaw! Open fire! They got bow and arrows, man, watch out! They have quicksilver, trying 360 quicksilver browser with a bow and arrow, watch out! Chainsaw man, this is the last time we meet this day. I shall finally kill you, lad. This day I shall strike you down and become the most powerful Sith in the galaxy. Oh great, he's ready to back. The chainsaw guy's back again. That's just Pewtree. Just goddamn fucking banana, right? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. My man, how many bullets does it take to kill you, dude? Like, what the hell? I feel like I'm shooting a pea shooter at you, bro. I shot you nine times with, like, this pistol in the hand. You still haven't died. What the fuck? Like, what the hell is this bullshit, bro? What the hell? Well, I think we're officially about to run out of railroad tracks, to be on, because... Yup, we're running out of railroad tracks. Yeah, get the break, bro. Get the break! What was that? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got a problem. You might have broke the break. Are you serious indeed, bro? He's like that one guy at a party and they say, oh, don't lose a leg. Proceeds to lose his leg. Gets down, jump for it! Hey, I made a soft landing, nice. And he's like, he almost just died too. That would have sucked it, damn. It's like, how do you break the break, you fucking idiot? You broke the goddamn trunk up, break, you fucking idiot! So I'm guessing I gotta go this way now then, so let's keep looking around I guess. Mm. We can make it if we surf. Huh, so we're on the and some kinda of other part of the cave I'm looking like. We're pathways. Like everywhere now. Okay, so yeah, this this is definitely an old part of the cave. That's what I'm sure I'm in. A lot of old stuff here. Very interesting. Like seriously, very, very interesting, but yeah. Nonetheless. Get off me, you fucking bug! I'm gonna fry ya, I'm gonna burn ya, I'm gonna zap ya, I'm gonna cut ya. And I'm gonna stab, stab, stab ya. Oh, more ammo. And some kind of yellow plant. Don't mind if I do, sir. Thank you. Sweet. Let's go. Hell yeah. Come on, we gotta move out. We gotta, we got our girl. We gotta save homes. We got the. We gotta go save. What's her name? Oh shit. They fly now? Yup, they fly now. That's just great, they fly now. Hello? 
Hello there. Bug comes into your face for it grabs and kills you. Just it just bully says hello there. Die you fucking demon. Die. Hello there. Bye bye. If you guys have made it this far in the video, now then, someone leave somebody leave some stuff in the comments for me, alright? Those bug things in this game, Resident Evil 4 Remake, right? Don't those bug things look like the bugs from Halo 2? I believe in Halo, in Halo Reach. Let me know in the comments. Leave some comments and feedback if you agree with me. But they did also remind me and look just like Halo 2 and Halo Infinite. The bugs, the flying bug things with the fucking needle and plasma pistols they normally carry. It looks just like them. Maybe I'm misreading things. I don't know, but it looks dead ass just like them. That shit's freaking whack. Like, let me know in comments if you guys agree or not. Alrighty, so we gotta go this, not this way. Yes, this way. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know how I go. I'm just looking around as I go along. Alrighty, so we make it our way up the hill. It looks like so. Now let's go up here. And on the way, on the way, we're gonna break any barrels we've seen. Open up some chests. Loot up some ammo, ammo and whatnot. Crafting supplies. Whatever I found, I'm gonna stop, grab, a craft, and repair and all that jazz you know what i mean so yeah but we, let's say we're starting it close now then we should be making good progress here so yeah i've already looted pretty much just about everything i'm thinking so yeah just need to figure out where the hell to go exactly now and then stop stopping to head to the next mission area now man so yeah did shooting that barrel do anything now how many then is that didn't attract shit okay Just shooting that weird tentacle damn thing. Uh, smaller thing doesn't do jack shit either. Uh, one of these bug things. Are you kidding me, bro? Stop ripping off Halo, god damn it, Resident Evil. What the hell? <laughs> My mans are ripping off Halo. Fucking Resident Evil 4 over here. Copy and paste into like, Halo Infinite. Fucking. Sorry. Copy and paste in uh, Halo. Fucking Reach and Halo 2. I have bugs. <laughs> I don't so back at it again. So back at the elevator jokes. So, Lewis, how is your day going so far, sir? You know, my day is going stereotypical. You know how it goes, bro. Just chilling. I was a wife and kids, you may ask. They're pretty good. You know, just doing my mercenary work and, you know, federal agent or secret organization, all that jazz. But, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Cue the freaking elevator music. Bump. Bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Fresh air is calling our names, bro. How's it fresh air, man? We're still underground. We're still in an underground cave, so that's not fresh air, man, at all. Oh, Chrysler! My fucking trainer! The general! You've committed high treason, you bastard! Now you show yourself your treasonous bastard. She'll smite you down this day. This is the guy you're, you basically betrayed the U the USA. And you join these cold and psychopathic motherfuckers. So now that you commit those acts, the United States has put a high bounty on your ass and labeled you as a treasonous heretic. Now I'm here, and while I'm there, I shall stop you. And what do you mean knives are faster than I mean, I guess for close combat, you wish you use your knife. If you can't use your your assault or pistol, I guess kind of makes sense. But holy shit, these mans are fucking fast, dude, man. Damn, They're like they they got fucking sonic speed, AK flash speed over here, dude. Shit, fucking dash, 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 stab, 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 block, stab, block. I feel like I'm watching a Disney. I feel like I'm watching a ripoff of Disney Star Wars lightsaber duels. So the game adds lightsaber duels to the game, but with different weapons and not lightsabers. Just rips off fucking Disney, bro. Like, oh my god. We are just getting started, rookie. Who are you calling rookie, Gramps? I know you sure how it's hard to use that goddamn tone, boy. Old man. Time to send this dude off to an early retirement because I'm so fed up with his old man ass shit, bro. Just like we should have sent Joe Biden to an early retirement or send this old useless ass, ass goat to an early retirement too while we're at it. 
That's a damn sure. I'm gonna finish you off, Prizer. I'm gonna strike you down, Sensei, this day, and become the most powerful Sith in the galaxy. Alright, so this knife fight's been going on for the past like three minutes now, and I'm still have not made no progress yet. I mean, I think I'm doing good because I haven't died yet, and the game hasn't told me I filled the mission yet, so I'm definitely still going doing good now, man. I think what I need to do is I just need to keep fighting him back, having to hit me a hit hand back. And I think I just need to basically survive long enough for the, the visible time to kick in so that the game ends it. So the game ends the boss fight, you know what I mean? Because there's only really a boss fight, because you pretty much want to, want to hold them off, defend yourself, and try to survive as long as possible. And the mission's supposed to autocomplete once you get done with that stuff. But I'm just not sure, so I'm just going to have to wait for now and see. See what the hell happens, I guess. I'll be jumped away. Let's see what's going on with that. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Bitch, you ain't, gonna get, you ain't gonna kill me today, bitch. Fuck off. Nope. 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 Ah, oh, I knocked me on my ass. God damn. Hey, chill crowd. Don't kill me. Thank you, Louis. You see, you still have a little bit of fight left. And you just saved my ass that gun of yours. Thank God, bro. Shit. When Lewis, Lewis, 30 seconds left of life, sacrifices it to save Leon's life. Talk about a, a noble knight to the end, huh? Well, r ripping chat, uh, guys, or I should say ripping the comments for Lewis. He was a very, very loyal friend even to the end. He saved my life, and he was very loyal to the end, Lewis. Rip, Lewis, you shall be missed, old friend. May God, well, you may you rest in peace within this un devilish, unholy world that we face yourself in these dark, dark, dark times living in. And here's one last cigarette for, my, for you, my friends. For smoke and peace, I guess you could say. So, yeah. I mean, no offense to everybody, leads a pretty shitty life. Everyone starts off with a shitty life, no matter if you think about it. And you eventually, you you have that drive and push to make yourself a life, life for yourself better. So yeah, people can change. Of course they can, bro. You can do so many wrongs in your life, but you still could change at the end of the day and, and do make stuff a lot better for people that you've wronged or even wrong, wrong stuff in general makes stuff better. You can change. But to change, you must want to change. You have to have that changing push. To, and you must have the willpower to want to change. If not, it's all going to be in vain, and it's not going to be worth it at all, so. Oh, look, it's Ada. Look at the best girl. Ada's back. Ayo. These are my top three reasons why I love RE4. Number one, there's no zombies to fucking jump scare my pussy ass. Number two, I love how I can easily always craft ammo and always find ammo, basically. Number three... How you can actually get a shotgun, a pistol, a sword, if I never, and a sniper, if I never, type of game in the gun. In the, I mean, gun in the game. You pretty much can upgrade to max. And, then, and number four, you pretty much find the money very commonly. There's no hardness to finding. You pretty much find like left and right. Number five, the character, the character design, just some of the rewards you can get for doing higher tier campaign runs. It's just all very, very fun. That's why I love the game so much. That's kind of why. And also, number six, the gameplay. Definitely a huge, definitely a huge push for me. Like in the game too, is the gameplay. So yeah. Yo guys, if anybody here made it in the video this far, leave comments stating what's your favorite and your favorite part of RE4's remake, and what and what's your reasoning about why you like the game and what do you rate the game. Me personally, I'm thinking I'm gonna. Me personally, I'm thinking I'm gonna rate the game. Most likely a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. It's not good. I mean, it's really good, but it's not too bad either. It's in the middle between bad and good, in my opinion. Very, very fun game. I'm loving it a lot. I finished it, but yeah. Played it a lot when I was playing it. It was very fun. I love the combat moves. The mercenary game mode wasn't too bad either. Man, helmet, that shit was fun as hell, but the mercenary game mode. That stuff was really, really fun. It was cool. I had a blast playing that too. Um, but yeah, like a lot of that stuff in the game was very, very fun. I enjoyed playing it a lot, so, yeah. But uh, yeah, on a serious note, if you guys haven't checked, there's a new game that came out recently called Redfall. It's a vampire hunting game. I've been playing that on my Xbox. I'm actually having a really fun time playing it. Only downside is, is it Xbox exclusive game, but even then, it's, I was playing one of my, I was playing it with one of the, my subscribers. It's a very, very fun game. 
really, really fun, trust me. So I highly suggest that you all try Red Fallout and try RE4 Remix, RE4 Remake out too. Both the games are phenomenally good, so I'm sure everybody here will like, I'm sure it is. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. I'm sure everybody will like Redfall and Resident Evil 4. They're both really, really fun games. One's about hunting psychopathic cultists. The other one's about hunting vampires and cultists also. So, eh, there you go. Oh, great. I forgot. They have flamethrower turrets. It's my weakness. Or I should say, honestly, Leon's weakness. Flamethrower turrets. That do take away half your HP in one shot. My fucking favorite weapon in the game. That's just positively lovely. Hmm? Yeah, just about freaking lovely as crap. Oh my god, what the shit. Sideways shooting with the Punisher pistol. You don't mind if I do, Holmes? Oh, hell yeah, bro. I almost forgot to admit, the reason too why I like RE4 Resident Evil, guys, is also the executions too not man shit. You guys know there's also executions you can do too now, man. You get, an enemy gets low health and they're stunned. That button pops to the top of the head. And they pretty much can do a takedown or a finisher and whatnot. And then same thing goes with the, um, what the hell's that other game? Hang on. Same thing goes with mercenary game mode. You know the mercenaries game when you do finisher is similar to that. And I mean, camping story has that too. The finisher moves, which for each character, they're not too bad. I mean, especially for Leon. Leon's is fucking sick as hell, dude. It, it, it's actually really funny as hell. It's extremely funny. But yeah, they add that, so that's why I also rate the game a 7 out of 10, due to the fact that they add that too on top of everything else I've already named, so. Yeah, I think if it wasn't for any of that, I probably wouldn't even play the game or bother to rate it in this live stream, but whatever, I'm doing it now, so hey, what the hell, right? And sorry, I called it a live stream. I meant to say video. My apologies. Hey, look, it's, it's a crossbow guy. My well, man, you have a crossbow, I have a 50 caliber sniper rifle. Who the hell do you think's gonna win? Pretty sure the 50 caliber sniper rifle's gonna win. Especially if I already have you, your head locked on one night. You're pretty much fucked and you just pretty much killed your commit suicide there, bro. Can't stop someone that has a 50 caliber sniper rifle and a Punisher Glock 18. You just can't. You're just gonna get bodied. So you should, guys, you just put your hands up, get on your knees, and surrender. And maybe I'll show mercy. Two little treason the treasonous little shits. Who knows? Ow. Oh, get off my cot, lad! Get off my point, maggot! Get off! Get off my cot, maggot! Move! What did I just say, maggot? Get off the point, maggot! Get out of here.
delivered the girl to you as promised. Do tell our Lord to not forget the loyalty of his servant, Ramon. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. <sighs> ah, damn it. Looking for something? 